A YouTuber asked me if I would uh, explain how voltage doubler circuits work. They are interesting circuits and useful, but before we get into uh, one of the circuits, let's take a closer look at uh, the diode and how it works. Here's the symbol for a diode. And this arrow is showing the direction that electrons will flow. And when that happens, that's known as forward bias. And note the polarity where the negative and the positive is. And in the drawings for the voltage doublers, forward bias I'm going to show this way. I'm going to show it as a wire across the diode because that's the way the diode is acting when it is forward bias. Now if we should reverse the polarity on that diode, that would be known as reverse bias. And what this means is there's no current flowing through the diode. That's why I don't show an, an arrow. And also I'm going to show reverse bias diodes in the following drawings this way. For all practical purposes, it's an open. Here is a voltage doubler circuit. And we'll start with the first positive peak. Neither one of the capacitors have been charged yet. We're starting right at the very beginning. And we've got a positive at the top of the coil and a negative at the bottom of the secondary coil. And the current is going to want to flow in this direction. This will forward bias the top diode and reverse bias the bottom diode. It'll also charge the top capacitor. Now when we get to the negative part of this cycle, where we have negative at the top of the secondary and positive at the bottom of the secondary, current is going to flow in this direction, forward biasing the bottom diode and reverse biasing the top diode. And it will charge the bottom capacitor. And now you can see that those two capacitors are charged up doubling the DC output. Here is another voltage doubler circuit. This time we're going to start with the first negative cycle. Neither one of the capacitors have been charged yet. And current is going to flow in this direction, forward biasing the rightmost diode and charging that top capacitor. Now when we get to the next following positive peak, current is going to flow in this direction, forward biasing the top diode and with the energy from the coil plus the voltage that we just charged in the top capacitor, those two potentials are going to charge the rightmost capacitor to double the voltage. These two voltage doubler circuits are a good representation of this type of circuit.